Hello, Robert Kalinsky here, and Jeff Schroeder has decided to stay with us, grace us for a few more minutes. People and are fist bumping each other in the chat room because of your presence on are. the show today, Jeff. And the online activity is atrocious. Wild. Crazy. Jeff, uh-huh. you had a question, Jeff. I do. Didn't you? I was wondering, Jeff, because, um, you know, The Amazing Race and certainly a reality show, you're sort of like thrown into this experience with these people for a certain group of time. Did you stay in touch with anybody? I'm sure, you know, no one else has the experience of being on The Amazing Race except for your castmates. So what is your relationship now with a lot of them? Um, you know what? I would love, I like everyone on The Amazing Race. They were, they were all really cool. You know, I wish, because on Amazing Race, you don't really chance to really, really meet, you know, really like hang out with them. You know, you're always kind of on the move, but... Um, Steve came down, you know, Steve and Allie, the team, he, he's a coach for the Cleveland Indians. So um, he, gave, he gave me tickets. We went out to dinner when he was in town with Cleveland. So I talked to him. I talked to Brent, the model couple. Mm-hmm. He texted me once in a while. And um, I talked to Lou the other day with Mike and Lou, the cops. So that's who I talked to really, you know, keep in touch with. I missed the Amazing Race finale that was on Sunday in New York. Jordan was having problems getting off work, and I didn't want to go without her. But I'm sure, you know, we'll have a chance to catch up again or all meet up again whenever or wherever it is. If they're ever passing through Chicago, you know, I told them already I'd love to catch up with each and every one of them. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome. It's hard because you have that short time together, and then afterwards all you want to do is talk to your castmates because it was so intense. And then, like, after a month, like, you don't even remember what their names are. (laughs) Well, you know, I like to keep in touch. You know, it's something that... You know, that will never f*** the rest of our lives. So, you know, it's definitely nice to get in touch with someone like that. You know, with someone like exactly like that, you know. You come from good Chicago stock. I'm so Hollywood, it's sickening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my perspective. I'm like, oh, you'll never remember them. You'll never talk to them again. I think you always remember that. So you always, you know, people kind of keep you thinking about it because people always want to ask questions and you know know more so that it makes you think about them even more you know so you always have that bond with anyone you do something like this with you know people want to know what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for Jordan oh man I think I asked got answers this before and I bombed <laughs> well you better not bomb by the way this is available as a podcast so if you do bomb you want to make sure that you don't yeah. send anybody to iTunes to listen to it or chataboutit.com. Especially Jordan. Yeah. This is a question for Jordan. I don't know if I want to toot my own horn. Oh, uh, then you know what? Let's soften the question. What's a, what did you do for your mom on Mother's Day? Oh, uh, me and my family went out to uh, a brunch in Naperville where my brother lives, uh-huh. and uh, I got her some nice orchids and stuff and a really sweet card. So she likes flowers. So I got her like. Oh, good. Yeah, those are really nice. So You're lovely. Like simple stuff. You know, my mom's very simple, and that's what she likes. We're going to go to the phone now. Going to Florida. We're going to Annie in Florida. And, uh, Annie, are you with us? Hello, Annie. Annie. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good. You want to talk to Jeff? He's right here. <laughs> What's up, Annie? Annie's bugging out. Annie. You know, I have a question. Yeah, we lost Florida. I'm wondering, we talked about post-show. I want to know about pre-show. What was something that you did to get on the show? What was the audition process? Did you have to make a tape? Like, how did you end up on The Amazing Race? Well, um, you know what? I don't know if you watch Big Brother at all, but me and Jordan were both on a show called Big Brother. Right. Um, Wait, what's the name of the show? Never heard of that show. I never heard of that show. All right. So I don't know. You know, you never know who you're talking to. I know. (laughs) know We're We're kidding here. We're kidding here. Of course I know that you're on Big Brother. How did you make that transition from that show to Amazing Race? They kind of approached us, and they're like, would you like to Would you like to try out, basically? And it was like the finals of their tryouts, and they're like, would you like to try out and audition? You know, so it was kind of like we got thrown into the finals. You know, we obviously would never be on that show, you know, if we weren't on Big Brother. We put in our application. We did our um, audition with, you know, all the heads of the casting. And luckily enough, you know, they just put us on another show, which was awesome, awesome, you know, great, again, experience. So I two life experience. I'm over for 2 in the winds, but yeah. two, two, awesome, uh, two awesome experiences. Well, the, the trend is that, you know, if you finish first, you don't do as well as others. You obviously did what at the New York Reality TV School we teach people is to just be yourself, let your personality shine through, and that will make the mark. And you're you're obviously living off of who you are, which is the best thing. You don't have to put up a front, be sensational, fake anything. You're Jeff Schroeder, number one. Let's go to the phones. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. <laughs> We're going to Delaware. Samantha is in Delaware, and she's got a question for you. Hi, Samantha. Hi. I thought you were going to Skype in today. 
It didn't work. Oh no. <laughs> well, go ahead. You're you're got your your phone call through. So talk to us. Um. Hi, Jeff. Um. My question was, which show did you like working on better, Amazing Race or Big Brother? Which show did I like being on better? Yeah. Um. You know what? They were both both unexplainable but you know for me I'm an outdoors guy and I like to travel and I'm very competitive so I would have to lean towards the amazing race a little more you know being trapped inside for you know almost three months and not being able to get outside or you know deal with any outside people was kind of you know that's part of the game that's what the game is so definitely amazing race seeing the world was definitely more enjoyable for me I think okay awesome thanks Samantha thanks Samantha I hope you're with us next week again too had you ever traveled the world, Jeff, prior to any of these experiences? Um, I went backpacking with my buddy after college. We went there for a month all over Western Europe. And uh, oddly enough, that's where we got eliminated. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've done a little traveling. I, you know, I would wish I traveled a lot more, but I just couldn't afford it, you know, growing up, things like that. So I made it over to Western Europe, and, you know, I love it. You know, my grandfather liked to travel. My mother, Italy, so I think that's where I get the you know, the bug from, and my grandmother was a world traveler. She's been every corner of the world, so I definitely got my grandparents' bug in the side, you know. Cool. We're going back to the phones, man. You've got these phones lit up. We are going to Jason in California. Jason, how are you? Jason? Jason, are you there? Go. <laughs> oh, let's go to Florida then. California. They're a little spaced out there, I guess. Yeah, man. Florida. Is it Penny? Yes, this is Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi. Oh, Penny, we had you wrong. We had you as Annie before. I know. That's so sorry. <laughs> That's why you hung up and said, look, Annie's gone. Penny's here. That's right. All right, Penny, let's start again. Hi. Hi. I just, um, I had, I didn't know, um, I just, I got um, tuned into your program because of the stage TV.com. Mm-hmm. Somehow I got hooked into you, so I wanted to check it out. Okay. But um, I don't know if your program is what I should do or what, but it said to call. Okay. Uh, and this time, so I'm asking. Um, I have, um, I write songs, and I put CDs out and stuff like that. So I don't know. Do you interview people like that? I think what you or? should do is um, email me, and I'll tell you the address right now. Con- contact at chataboutit.com contact at chat at chataboutit.com and then we'll pick up the conversation online okay do I, now wait a minute do I have to belong to Twitter or something like no that? no just go to your regular email whatever it is and just email me there contact at chataboutit.com okay okay and Penny ask the questions online yeah that's right just email me the questions and we'll follow up with each other that way okay that'd be great terrific thanks Penny you're welcome